The DTG-3 has several intelligent piloting modes that utilize data from the sensor pod. The sensor pod contains an IMU, short for Initial Measurement Unit, a depth sensor and a water temperature sensor. The IMU contains a 3-axis gyroscope, a 3-axis accelerometer and a digital compass. The proprietary sensor fusion algorithm compares the raw data streams to create a best estimate of the ROV's pitch, roll, yaw and depth. This data is presented in the graphical user interface and informs the semi-autonomous stabilization algorithms. The camera head will automatically hold its angle relative to the horizontal, independent of the ROV pitch. When the pilot loses positional awareness, they can use the camera home button. Press it once and the camera will return to an angle of zero degrees relative to the horizon. Pressing and holding the camera home button for approximately one second will lock the camera to the pitch of the ROV, allowing the pilot to see where the ROV is pointing. This is extremely useful for new pilots and is recommended for use of the grabber arm. The ROV will always autonomously counteract yaw, not introduced by the pilot. When the heading lock button is pressed, the compass bezel will be highlighted in blue. The ROV will actively thrust to maintain the indicated heading. This is more aggressive than the default stabilization algorithm. The target heading can be changed by pushing the front left joystick left and right. Steering gain will automatically decrease to assist in piloting the unit in a straight line. This is the depth hold button. When pressed, the depth readout will be highlighted in blue. The DTG-3 will pitch 90 degrees up or down and will hold its depth using the two primary thrusters. The ROV can still be piloted normally. Pushing forward on the front left joystick will cause the ROV to pitch back to level and move forward until the left joystick is released. Pushing right or left on the front left joystick will cause the ROV to pitch forward 45 degrees and rotate until the left joystick is released. This is the pitch lock button. When pressed, the pitch indicator will be highlighted in blue, reporting the current pitch and the target pitch. The front right joystick will change the target pitch and the ROV will slowly approach and hold this angle. This can be useful when using the grabber arm in still water. For a more comprehensive breakdown of piloting the ROV, visit our knowledge center at deeptracker.com.